This is our 36 foot floating home sunshine. Join us as we go sailing. Managed not to get any rain so far. Lots of rain yesterday, off and on, but so far today, nothing. Now I'm playing double reef rain and the stay sail. I'd say that based on the wind, I could be carrying more sail. And you'd be correct. But with these squalls, uh, never can be sure, and sometimes the wind gets up to 25 knots or so, which means the boat would be overpowered if we were sailing with the full main in the anchor. As it is, we're making uh, about four and a half knots anyway. See the sea state? Coming up from the south, south-southwest, it's blowing uh, according to uh, Fred's, not only his apparent, sophisticated apparent wind indica indicator, but the ocean water gives me the wind speed, true wind speed that is. See we're standing up, just starting to do white horses. So that means eh, 15 to 18 knots, somewhere in that range. And the crests are almost collapsing on themselves, which means there's probably a small south setting current. If the waves are flowing against the current, they'll, the tops of the waves will collapse down on the wave. It won't crest over and keep going in front of the wave. Okay, what you're looking at here, this little guy, is a little link arm that I hook on the end of this stud to lock the auxiliary rudder so it's centered. Of course, it's disconnected now because I've got the wind main operating. It may not seem like much. horizontal axis inclined 20 degrees that helps to dampen the steering motion and when the boat heels it pushes the blade into the wind thereby providing automatically more rather than less weather help and I've got the blade restrained there with that small piece of black line so it doesn't flip way up almost horizontal need about as much motion as it's giving me 40 or 45 degrees is enough for the control lines to turn that little piece of wood there attached to the trim tab shaft
tear off depending on uh, what I'm adding in the helm with the main rudder. So the main rudder must be neutral or straight or an aft. And the sail plan must be balanced near to perfection for any wind vane system to operate properly. This is also necessary if I happen to be using the autopilot to activate the sail plan against the hull and not overpower the boat especially my boat doesn't do any good to put the rail in the water because it's a shallow drag keel and the boat just winds up making a hell of a lot of leeway even though you think you're going fast forward you're also going a lot sideways which is not advantageous much better to keep the heel down around 15 degrees at most by reducing sail area as necessary. Anyway, that's the wind vane in action, at least on a beam reach. I haven't really had wind after the beam on this trip, so maybe later I'll get a chance to show that. 